Welcome back everybody, it's Mr. Cognetti. Today we are going to be doing module six, lesson number 13. So yesterday we were working on adding, or the past couple days we've been adding pretty big numbers, two digit numbers. And um, we've been adding them onto two digit numbers. So we've been adding two numbers that are very big together. Today, we're gonna be focusing on adding numbers together. What we've been doing so far, we've had numbers like this, say 22, plus 21. This has been simple because, or it wasn't simple at first, but you guys are getting pretty good at it. Where we could add our tens, we have two tens plus two tens to get four tens, and we could add our ones, two plus one is three, and we could get our answer 43. However, when we have ones digits that eventually add up to something bigger than 10, then we run into our problem with our tens place. All right, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that because right now you're probably a little confused because it can get a little confusing. However, you guys will be fine. Today, the problems we're gonna be working on, you guys can use any method you choose. All right, so if you wanna use a number bond, if you wanna use a picture, if you wanna use um, counters that you have at home, you can use those, all right? If you have counters, you should probably make them look like my pictures. I'm going to use quick 10 drawings, all right? Just because it's easiest for me. I don't. I, it's hard for me to film manipulatives or showing counters. So I'm going to use my quick 10 drawings. I think that's going to help us visualize the best when we have to make another group of 10. And you'll know what I mean when I show you. So um, if this first one, I want you to just watch, all right? So don't write anything down. You get to watch me. We have the number 19 plus 11. And I'll make all these look like ones because I'm about to make some 10 stick drawings. So 19 plus 11. We gotta figure out what that equals. All right, so I'm gonna draw my picture of 19 directly under 19. I'm gonna draw my picture of 11 directly under 11. So I see the number 19, I'll draw in red. We have 110. Remember, I always start with my tens on my left side. 110, so I'm gonna draw one big 10. Now I look at my ones, I have nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's my nine ones. Now I gotta add it to 11, which I have one 10. Then I have one one. Boom. One one there, all right, so now, I really just need to make this one big drawing without that plus sign there. It's like they're all together. So how many tens do I have? One, two. I'm gonna draw two tens. Boom, there's my two tens. Now how many ones do I have? Well, I have nine over here plus one more. What's nine plus one? Nine plus one is 10. So if I were to draw all these ones over here, I'd have those nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'd have to draw this one also. And that's 10. So is my answer, I have two tens and then 10 ones. So two tens and 10 ones, is that my answer? 210, 19 plus 11 is 210. That seems way too big. So I think I just wrote my number wrong because I combined the pictures correctly. Come on. Oh, it's gonna freeze on me now. Oh my, there we go. Okay, so what I did here is I have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I made another group of 10. So when I make another group of 10, I'm gonna draw a line through it so it becomes one of my 10 sticks. Now, how many 10s do I have? One, two, three. How many extra ones do I have? Well, now I have zero extra ones because we combined them all for a group of 10. So our answer is 30. And if you notice, if I went right across and just added up my tens, one 10 plus one 10 is two tens, but look at our answer. Our answer is three tens. And that's because when we added the ones together, it gave us that extra group of tens, okay? So some numbers, we have to get ready to move over a group of tens into the tens place. All right, how are we feeling? That kind of makes sense? 
Hopefully I can clear it up a little bit more. All right, you guys are gonna do this one with me. So make sure you have a nice clean spot on your piece of paper or your whiteboard. And we're gonna write out the number problem and then we're gonna draw a picture with it. Or if you guys want to do a number bond and you get that better, be my guess, but I'm gonna stick with the drawings. I know it helps me visualize them the best that way. Okay. 59 plus uh, 11 equals something. We got to figure that out. Okay. So we're going to start by drawing this picture. Okay. We're going to draw the picture of 59 first. So let's look at the tens place. How many tens do we have? Five. So we're going to draw five ten sticks. That's a lot. So make sure you have enough room. One. Two, three, four, five. That's a lot of 10 sticks. How many ones do we have? Nine. That's a lot of ones also. One, two, three. Actually, hold on. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it in a 10 frame way. Boom. There's our nine. Then we have a plus sign we gotta add in here. And then we have 11. I'm gonna do this one even in a different color. Do it in purple, I like purple. So if we're looking at 11, we have 110. So we draw 110. We have 1-1. One, one, so we draw 1-1. One, one. So there's our pictures and we gotta figure out what it equals. So to do so, we need to combine our whole or both our drawings into one big drawing. So are we going to start with the tens or the ones? Tens. We always start with the tens. All right. So let's count all the tens we have. We have one, two, three, four, five from this drawing. So I'm going to draw five over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have one from over here. So I'm going to draw one more over here. So you should have six tens drawn. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot of tens. Right? It's starting to get a little messy looking, but that's okay. We got six straight lines to represent our tens. So make sure you have that written down. If you don't, pause it, make it look like my screen, and then you're good to go. Okay, so after we count our tens, are we done? No. We have to count our ones. So let's start over here by counting our ones. We have nine ones. So I'm gonna draw nine ones over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's our nine ones from our 59. And now we need to bring, we have one more one over here that we need to draw. So I'm gonna draw, bring that purple one over to right there. Okay. Let's see if I can slide this over a little bit. Awesome. So now we have our five ones plus our or five tens plus our one ten to get six tens. And then we have nine ones plus our one one to get ten ones. Can I write ten ones up here? Can we write the number ten in our ones place? No, we cannot. It's not something we can do because it gives us way too big of a number. Not 610. Imagine there's a tens place line and a ones place line. We need to count how many groups of 10 we have. All right, let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six group of tens. However, we made another group of 10 when we added our ones together. So six plus one, we have seven groups of 10. Seven groups of 10. And do we have any ones left over? We do not have any extra ones. All of our ones have been combined into a group of 10. So we have zero ones. And our answer to 59 plus 11 is 70. Okay, I wanna do another one. I want to see if we can get one more in before I run out of time here. Okay. So erase your board. Make sure you got nice clean space. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going as fast as I can. Okay. 
This one is going to be 59 plus 21. Equals, and that's what we're going to figure out. Okay. So we're going to start by drawing our picture. I got left 59 up there. That's what we had. All right, but let's redraw it. We have five tens. So one, two, three, four, five. Five tens. Plus our nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? Bring our plus side down. And now we need to draw this picture. How many ones do we have? Or tens, sorry. Two. One. Two. How many ones do we have? We have one one. Now we need to come over here and combine them. So let's combine them. Let's count. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I have five ones. I'm going to move those over here and draw, redraw them. One, two, three, four, five. Those are my five tens. I think I said ones again, but five tens. And now I have two more tens over here that I need to move over. One, two. A lot of tens. Now I'm done counting my tens. So I have to count my ones. I have nine ones over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I need to count my ones on my uh, or from my other number, the number twenty-one. We have one one, so I'm gonna move that one. It's literally like I'm going. Oh, I'm gonna move this all the way over into here, and boom, make a group of ten. Okay. Okay, so it's like I'm literally moving that group there, that one over to here and putting it in there. However, I just made another group of 10. So I'm gonna circle it. All right, so now my answer, I have my tens place and my ones place. How many tens do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus this next one I made. So I have eight tens. Do I have any zeros left over? No, I do not. So our answer to 59 plus 21 is 80. Okay? And that's what I'm talking about is when we're adding numbers together and we, add, we make another group of 10 with the ones we are adding. If there had only, if this had been 58, we would have only had eight ones here, eight ones here, and then when I moved this circle over to here, we would have had nine ones. So it would have been seven tens and nine ones. It would have been 79, which is one less than that. They're one less than 80. Okay. So it's when we make that other group of 10 is when we have to then move it over into the tens place. Capiche? Awesome. All right. Sorry, this one was a little bit longer, but... Um, I think you guys are going to do really well on this with your homework. You're going to be doing things very similar to this. I like drawing a picture. Again, if you have done this and you like doing a number bomb, please use that method. That's why we learn all these different methods so we can pick and choose which one we like the best. Okay. But this one, like I said, it really helps me visualize making that other group of 10. Okay. Good work today, everybody. I will see you guys next time. You guys rock. Be good.